Do you want to turn your podcast listeners into active community members or paying clients? Welcome back to Share, Strategize, and Shine. I'm Caroline, and today is going to be a quick episode where I'm going to give you five quick but powerful tips to supercharge your podcast call to action. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Share, Strategize, and Shine. I have been sick for the last about week and a half now. We had a cold that just would not quit. And so I didn't really want to sit down and try and record a 20-minute episode with my voice sounding so terrible. So I've decided to do a quick episode today. And I would love your feedback at the end of the episode if you will message me on Instagram or send me an email and let me know how this quick episode was for you. I'm thinking about after I hit 200 episodes doing something really special where I have a longer episode at the beginning of the week and a shorter episode at the end. And so this is a little experiment. But let's dive in to your podcast call to action. So tip number one is to be very, very specific. You need to know and say exactly what you want your listeners to do at the end of the episode. And this is beyond rate, review, subscribe. Like, that's not important to me. When I have my podcast, I want it to work for my business. So what's important for me is to get them to visit a website, sign up for a newsletter, is even better, or join your membership. You really want to replace generic phrases like, check out our site with very specific instructions, like visit the link in our show notes to sign up for exclusive content. So tip number two is to create urgency. You want to use time-sensitive language to encourage immediate action. I think one of the things that business owners, especially me, like I can be so bad at this, is, is you know creating that sense of urgency around what's going on in your business because there is. You might be running a limited promotion or you might have a free challenge or some kind of opt-in for your listeners. But if you're wishy-washy about it, they're not going to get that sense of urgency. So you want to add phrases like for the next 24 hours or this week only to really boost your immediate responses to your call to action. And if, you know, you are doing things timely, there's a way to play with this with dynamic ads and such. So that way you don't feel like you're having to go back and edit your call to actions. But one of the things I also recommend doing is if you do have something that's time sensitive, that link can still be alive. It can say something different. We don't want to just delete those links. And if they hear that time-sensitive thing months from now, it may still be a solution to the problem they were looking for, which is why they went back and listened to the episode. And so it could still work for you. So don't hesitate to use those time-sensitive language and phrases to create that sense of urgency. Tip number three is we want to offer value. Your call to action should be appealing because it's going to explain to your listeners what they're going to gain from taking that action. Really highlight a benefit, like gain instant access to my free guide or join now to unlock member-only exclusive trainings. We really want to make sure that when people hear that call to action, they understand that there's some incredible value that they're going to get because there is, because everything you offer is so incredible and so valuable. Tip number four, keep it simple. A clear and concise call to action is more effective. I mentioned in tip number one when I talked about being specific, how this was not talking about like rate reviewing, subscribing. One of the biggest mistakes I hear people make with their call to actions is they're going to put so much in there that it's almost confusing what I am supposed to do after the episode. So you want to pick something that's really clear, concise, that's going to be more effective and it's going to avoid overcomplicating what you're asking of your listeners. So limit your call to action to one action per episode to avoid confusion and increase conversion. And then tip number five, and this is actually one that I struggle with and I am working on, but I know that it works really well in the YouTube verse and I've heard other podcasters do it as well. But this is to repeat your call to action. You want to mention this call to action multiple times throughout the episode to reinforce the action you want your listeners to take. So one of the things that you can try doing is introducing your call to action early. So maybe you have an introduction and you say, 
I'm going to tell you something really special about my membership this week. Membership is open. We're doing a special deal for podcast listeners. Be sure to stay tuned. And then you want to reiterate that at the end of the episode for maximum impact. And that's really going to help pull that thread for your listeners as they're listening to the content that's going to be aligned with that call to action, which is going to be aligned with what's going on in your business. And they're going to be able to take that thread and follow it all the way to the action that they need to take. So that's our wrap on this quick, short episode on supercharging your podcast call to actions. These small tweaks can make such a big difference in how your audience engages with your content and takes action. So try them out, see the results for yourself, let me know how it goes. And then if you found these tips helpful at all, I want you to apply them to your next episode and share your experience with me. And one of the best places to do this is in my membership. The membership enrollment period is currently open. Head to wildhomepodcasting.com slash membership. I teach these things in the membership, plus so much more to help you create a podcast that is going to work for your business, be strategic, and make you money. Because at the end of the day, that's what matters. Not tons and tons of downloads. What matters is that our podcast is able to warm and convert our audience for us. So be sure to head to wildhomepodcasting.com slash membership. Thanks for listening to this episode today and happy podcasting. And I'll be back soon with another episode.